Jockery! Oh, what a coincidence to meet you here. See you then. Are you after the heart of the land? Hmm, looks like you're working hard at gathering information. Keep doing your best. What on earth is the heart of the land? Oh well, I w guess the best way to describe it would be calling uh, like soul. Soul? Just like your souls have a physical body, she has a physical body too. That's the heart of the land. And the heart, and the heart creates songs, which in turn create this continent. Create songs, you mean? But simply, this continent is the song magic she is singing. While she sings, it may take this form. If she were to stop singing, it would disappear. Those were your only questions? Then I'll be off now. What do you plan to accomplish by snatching away the heart of the land? Don't worry, nothing bad, that's for sure. I can't trust you. I never lie. I don't want to become I'm such an untru untrustworthy life form as you humans. What did you say? Anyway, I'm seeking the heart of the land for my own personal goals. If you would ha have enough time to worry about me, wouldn't it, you be better off using it to focus on your own goals? Uh, see you then. Bro, we have to hurry, or else she's going to take the heart of the land! Yeah, you're right. We need to find it as soon as possible. And into the dungeon we go. Welcome to my national treasury. National treasury? Is this where your treasures sleep? Yes, I've gathered everything from all the corners of my heart here, regardless of whether it was important or not. It's strange. I have so many memories that annoys me, so I locked them all up in those chests. That means that there are a great number of chests here, right? Yes, it's gotten to the point where I can't even fit offerings in there. It's scary to imagine that. It is scary. Not, not even my, myself know what, what. I should have separated the important things from the rest. Now then, five of the chests in here have an orb inside. I've tried looking for them for a while, but it's just I got carried away with storing everything here. To get to the point, I want you to find the five orbs in the chests. I accidentally placed some monsters in the chests as well, so it's too dangerous for me. I'm sure that wasn't accidental. Oh, I'm not forcing you to look for them. That would be unreasonable. I really am troubled, so I thought I'd try asking. Really? You really are troubled? There are a vast number of treasure chests in this area. They contain items, money, and sometimes even monsters. And some of them contain precious jewels called orbs. The goal of this trial is for you to find all five of these orbs. There's no time limit, so do your best until you manage to gather each of the five orbs. Well then, once you're ready, you can begin. And it's basically best to go in a clockwise fashion. Once we get into the second area. And, well, immediate talk topic. But yeah, it's just best to open everything. Those Pep and Cuits are worthless, because we, 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 we can basically redo... Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's just do everything in this room first. There's our monsters. Yeah, only one chest per area has monsters, so yeah, it's the... Uh, we will not... This battle will not last long enough to get a cute drive. Well, let's uh, put Luca's level 5 song to good use. Ba-boom! It's good to do these for both experience and money. And that actually, that's actually one of the major reasons I'm getting all the chests. Is, well, for the money more than anything else. Orb! But I basically want to do the final area last on the right side. As that, the final chest in there is the orb. And once you find all five, you can't uh, loot anymore. But these areas aren't that, that big. Two extra ingredients never hurts either. There's our monsters. And yeah, we will not get far enough to get the level three of here. Oh, well. 
Actually, I might be able to do it. Yeah, I'll just fire it off next round. Ah, oh, terrible, terrible. Yeah, revenge time. Actually, I may try to get the synchronity in the battle. Won't, won't hurt to try, because I just have to focus on the bottom. Orb! But a regular battle, probably not going to happen. That's gonna take another, like, two more rounds to get that here. I have enough MP for that. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> Can't get a hide of sync. Need to get a lot more tox hoppers with them. Orb! I knew I missed one. All right. Fortunately, uh, the rest of the areas in here are single room. It's a bit, little matter of walking, walking back. Now, the third from the right is the monster chest in this one. If you want to avoid it, the far right one is the orb. I probably should have noted that, but. Uh, this room is small enough to, to make note of that, because they're all fairly linear left to right. And yeah, that should be the monster chest. Yep, but I'm going to fight the monsters anyway just for the experience and money. It does not take long. And yep, do a bit of numbers. Always aim to get all four of the bars filled, if possible. But try to battle harmonics as your priority. Then I'd say burst. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to burst these up. And fire. Hard to read that last text, but oh well. Yeah, I'll fight that next battle just to get Crow level up.
I always gotta love looting the national treasury. Oh, the guide was wrong. <laughs> no, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was thinking area four. Oh well. That I missed out on fifteen hundred leaf. Thank you. You really found all of them for me. I'm glad. I'm so glad. It's a sphere key. Yeah, we know how it works. Two A. Actually, uh, I wonder if I go back and pick those up. Interesting that we now have monsters, but... Let's see, those, of course, we all opened all those already. Pretty high encounter rate, though. But new enemies! There we go, free burst, good enough. Not as much experience from those others, but oh well. Okay, good, we can finish looting. And this last one should be the 500. Yep, that, oh yeah, that one should be the monster. I'm not gonna fight it, because we got, well, we just got the exact same battle anyway. Probably get one more battle on the way out of here. Oh well. You know what? That's good enough. <laughs> okay, why does my fiance live with another girl? That's what the was saying. I, I, I couldn't read it last time. <laughs> Oh, we don't need any more battles. Just let me out of here. <laughs> I, I got that level up I wanted. No, we'll get one more. It's, it's almost guaranteed. There it is. Okay, two more levels up. I'd say that was worth it. And yeah, back to the city, we got our talk topic. Then we'll get back into the infosphere. Don't need to go to the store either. What's my money looking like? Okay. Pretty good. Oh, servant? 
Hey, about the trial in that cave, didn't Lady Cloche say if you care about me? Yeah, she did. Yeah, but what we're just doing seems more like just menial tasks. Don't no, go any further than thinking it. Oh, more level four than level threes. Infill sphere. I'm not gonna save yet. Buster Ringo. この私たちはクローシェ様とお話しする手段としてこの世界を使ってるけど、本当の目的って何？もっと失礼。そういえばその話をしていませんでした。この世界は適合者同士の絆を徹底的に強くするために用いられます。適合者の絆を徹底的に強
I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to differentiate these two, it's uh, not easy. Indeed, it is difficult. After all, a small bit of experience might simply create that many more frictions between us. Still, that would bring an end to our relationship and make it that much simpler. No, that won't happen! I'll go! Take me! I want to know! It's always bugged me! It's been smoldering in my heart all this time, so I want to know. If there's anything I can understand even a little, I might be able to come down and close to your feelings. Indeed, very well. Monson girl, take her there. Yes, certainly. Let us be off. Right. Right! Ugh. Juggling voices here. Hey, you're listening! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> wow, that startled me! Suddenly yelling at me the instant I show up just over the top! That scary look! It's three times as shocking as a normal person! Quit mumbling nonsense. I've been calling you for a while now. Where are you spacing out? Uh, really? Monson girl, that's so mean! Flinging me right in then! I believe the Holy Maiden may be weary from day after day of work. You keep quiet. I'll fire you immediately if you speak up too much. I'm very sorry. Hold on! You don't need to talk like that! Let's get back on topic. About the new proposal you submitted. It's rejected. Huh? This. You brought it to me the other day. Uh, what is this bulky thing? You want a new implementation of Metafalca to supersede the IPD amplification project? Oh, that was, uh, that was Luca. So, toward a new implementation of Metafalca to supersede the IPD application project? It's a document Lady Cloche spent about half a year preparing. Lady Cloche wrote this? Your point's not bad. I was a bit surprised myself when I read it. You're pretty capable for a little girl. This continues the current IPD application project to equip and empower a magic force for war against the goddess, and in its place, aim for unification of will such that each individual will craft more powerful song magic. Proclaim that war with the goddess is inevitable, and that the power of IPDs is therefore essential. Recruit talented candidates as voluntary soldiers, grant them pay and residency in Pastalia, have them maiden take the lead in their training. First, strive to spread our intent through regular visits to the IPD residential district. Uh, I don't get the details at all. There's some really difficult stuff written here. But you see, I can't approve this. Well, why not? It's a good plan, isn't it? It's not bad, but it's lacking in reliability. I've had this plan checked over, but there's too much variance in the success rate. It's 90% reliable at best, but can drop to 60% at worst. There are too many factors that can sway the results depending on individual will and emotion. People's emotions can suddenly turn on you over little things. On the other hand, you can get a tremendous effect if they tip the right way. But as leader, I simply can't trust the lives of all the people of to plan Hank engine on such uncertainty. Well, maybe not, but... Listen, we're looking after the lives of a million people. We can keep thinking about how we can save more people more reliably. Let's see, I want to go... If I want everything, I need to go with the second one. But even so, I can't agree with it. Increasing and hunting IPDs on the basis of an arbitrary plan, and doing it to use them as weapons. Maybe if they knew the truth and volunteered for the good of Metafolica. But it's going to be such a shock if they find out after the fact. You have a point. But we're continuing with this plan because we critically reviewed every other option and concluded this is the best one. It's dangerous switching plans too hastily. In particular, exposing the truth we've been hiding won't go down well. But we don't have any choice but to push on. We even stabilize the IPDs with neutralizers after they have episodes. They're assigned new identities, but we guarantee their livelihoods with living quarters and food. But killing them once, you can't handle them anymore! That's just wrong! I really can't agree with it! You idiot! Yeah! Spouting all this stupid grumbling, you think I don't know that all too well? Listen, if you reveal the truth we've been covering up, maybe for you that's repentance and you'll feel better. But what about Metaphorica? What about the hopes of all the people, the sole light of salvation for this rotting land? This land is nearly done for, so the situation will just become more and more hopeless if we don't hurry. Understand? Would you rather spew out your just argument and have everyone die? Make it so every victim of this plan died for nothing? How do you mean to repay their deaths if Metafalca doesn't become reality, thanks to your selfishness? Uh, well... It's absurd to force your arbitrary wishful thing on others just because you want relief from your awareness of guilt. Look, a leader's job is to bear the mud, get your hands dirty, and shut up and smile even if you know you're going to hell. Cool your head off if you understand. Don't get swept away by emotions. On your shoulders are the lives of everyone in Metafalca. But still, it wasn't a bad proposal. You were really diligent with this. That was quite an impressive for a little girl. I knew I saw talent in you. Well, I'll consider the regular business mentioning your proposal. That's a good idea. If the maiden puts in an occasional appearance, the IPD should be more willing to cooperate with you when the time comes. You know, as much as you dislike it, you're pretty well suited to politics. Uh, I'm really not. You don't have to be so modest. Well, I guess it's thanks to my education, though. I'll be expecting another interesting plan. Even I prefer as few victims as possible. See you later. <laughs> Just, uh. <laughs> I'm very glad for you, Holy Maiden. I know the matter of visits has been long on your mind.
Who's there? It's me. Craw, how long have you been there? Actually, since the Chancellor abruptly shouted. I couldn't hear the quieter conversation too well, though. Oh, I guess I've been keeping you waiting pretty long. Sorry. Don't worry. I couldn't have moved from here anyway. I'd have been, I'd have been noticed. I see. That was a bit unexpected. What was? That the Chancellor was like that. I thought he was just a scary person, but he's thinking pretty seriously about Metafolica. Yeah, it's common gossip among the knights that Chancellor Alfman is qu actually quite a believer in Metafolica. Even if you're going to hell. Huh? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I was just thinking about something. Oh my, have you been swayed? Even so, I can't agree with it, but... I've realized that Lady Cloche thought long and hard and tried everything she could. Though the contents were too difficult for me to understand with just a quick look. Well, that's no surprise. Why don't you use the opportunity to study a little? They say you just got dumber if you don't use your brain. So keep living like you do now, and sooner or later, you won't even be able to read. Hey, that's so rude! I'm not trying to insult you. I just stated the truth. Regardless, you seem to have able to emphasize again in some ways. Huh? Her image of Lady Clorche should have changed after seeing this, right? Right. I think maybe I was only looking at the IPD suppression and confinement all this time. But I feel like this time, I understood a little of how Lady Cloche really felt and what she really wanted to do. I've been criticizing her even though I didn't know anything. <laughs> That's a good sign! And I think it's worth giving you this. There's our Bond Gem for first ring. That should unlock the Amnesty area, which is, should be short and sweet. This is a Bond Gem! I'm giving it to you because you were able to grasp something of Lady Cloche's true feelings and what she really wants to do. Thank you! There's been an amnesty unlocked! Alright, we are done in here. We should have more than enough SP to complete this place, though. Alright, and... Yep, no topics. Let us save and proceed onward. And all the way up. Fortunately, we are getting closer. And here we go. 